Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be discussing the alternatives to wheat bread and white bread and what can you eat that is healthier that isn't containing gluten. So the first one and actually to be about this topic if you're like celiac and you're really gluten sensitive I would say probably avoid you know most breads and most packaged foods because somehow they've touched gluten and that this is for people that want to cut gluten out or are just slightly sensitive to gluten and can still have bread and still enjoy bread but just not the high gluten containing ones so the first one is a rye bread so rye bread is more darker more denser and also rich in fiber so it's got those health benefits being more fiber based now the second one is sourdough bread. Now people usually make sourdough bread from like um, fermented grains and because it's fermented it's easier to digest, it's not as heavy, it's not as hard on the immune system. Now the next one is uh, obviously I've, I've put on here gluten free bread so that's the gluten free alternatives however make sure they're organic gluten free and just check how many ingredients are on there just see you know is it healthy is it you know how many ingredients are on there if there's loads of e numbers and colors it's not healthy it's so annoying you know when you go to a health aisle not everything's actually healthy so do have a look at those ingredients on the gluten free bread now the next thing is sprouted bread so these are ones that have had longer to germinate. Now this is an interesting point actually, sprouted bread and germinated bread contains less gluten. Now because of like the fast production and the modern day, the reason why gluten's everywhere is because everything's getting cut short and just like into the food straight away. They're not letting it grow up, they're not giving it time to fully grow, they're cutting it short. So like when it's half like in length, half length or half tall for the different types of wheat and that's probably why gluten intolerance and gluten problems are on the rise. Now the next one is bread which you can make with coconut flour and also something called a squash flat bread. So I put that on here because some people like to make their own bread and there's actually something that I saw, I think I saw an interesting thing where you can actually make pizza dough with cauliflower and cabbage cauliflower and cabbage as the pizza dough i have seen that on youtube so do search that up cauliflower and cabbage dough or pizza dough but yes coconut flour and squash flatbread so basically the coconut in a flour form and then you know butternut squash making that into like a bread and making it hard so you can sort of have that as the bread uh, it looks like a slice of bread it tastes like a slice of bread but it's coconut and squash so let me know your thoughts on this list and also what do you do what bread do you eat and what do you recommend which is you know healthy which is good for you do you agree with this list or is there some that you wouldn't have as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time